Good morning, everybody. It's very early in the morning, so I'm sure I don't know about you, but I had to crawl around in my house this morning to get done for the service. So it's very early, so bear with me, be patient. I'm Beverly Hendricks. I'm the director for Ficalela AIDS Project, which is an initiative of the Anglican Diocese of Cape Town. I brought along some pamphlets and some pledge cards, which are at the back of the church. So I'm not going to focus too much on the commercials because you can read that in your own time. So I want to start it by saying thank you to Chairs for the invitation. It has been two and a half years that we have not been busy during the month of compassion. So thank you very much for inspiring me and to ensure that I was busy for every Sunday in the month of compassion. So on behalf of the chairperson, Bishop Joshua Lowe, and the management board of Fikalelo, we send warm greetings and love to the parish shops and saviors. I'm going to need some help this morning. I'm describing a lady that I worked with at St. Saviour's under the tossing of the late Werner Grief. She always had this beautiful smile. Her hair was my colour and she was way older. And I, they never called her on her first name. She was always Mrs. So-and-so. So I want to acknowledge the task team um, where we had a good relationship with under the leadership of the late Werner Grief. It was on the Bertha who I saw earlier on. And Anthea joined us later. And it was this lady. She might have been older than everyone in that group. But believe you me, she had the best energy and the best words came out of her mouth, words of wisdom. I want to remind you of a couple of words that came out in the readings for today. It spoke about being humble. And I want to take us back to the year 2000, possibly 1999 when the Anglican Church decided that they wanted to start an organization to deal with the HIV pandemic. So it was agreed upon at Synod by everybody that this is the organization we're going to be giving birth to. And as you know, when you start anything new within the structure of the church, there's not always direction, there's not always funding, but we say to ourselves, we're going to do this because we are people of faith. And that's where we are as Fikalela. We started in the year 2000 when we were one big diocese, a hundred and almost 40 churches. Do you remember that? So we bought a children's home in Kayavitcha, when we were one big diocese. When the split came from the one to the three, we couldn't pick up our children's home and bring it alongside us to the Diocese of Cape Town. We had to leave it there. But the responsibility still remains that of Fikalela. And why am I mentioning this? The Diocese of False Bay doesn't want the children's home because they can't afford it. The Diocese of Cape Town is unaware of the fact that Fikalela needs support with our children's home in Kailiche. So it's important that as we start moving around within the Diocese that we say, Fikalela Child and Youth Care Centre, St George's Home for Girls, St Michael's Home is all part of the Diocese of Cape Town Structures. So it's very important that you do pray for that process because I was with the Mother's Union on Friday and we went to drop off blankets. And when I said to the executive, 
I want us to divide 6666. And they went, no, but and Kailicha. So you see, information needs to move around and we need to be educated around the correct facts. So what is it that we do as the Kalela? We have three focused areas. It's dealing with orphan and vulnerable children. And that's why I spoke about the children's home. We deal with people living with HIV, offering care and support and love. And the third area is the prevention area, where we deal with education. We have three different programs for different age groups. Now, I don't know if you are as fortunate as me. I can be three years old, I can be 16 years of age, and I can also be 60 years of age, whichever one you want me to be. So the secret is in adapting resources to what your needs are. So we have Jerry Giraffe, we have Survivor Africa, and we have Agents of Change. Now if I were to ask you just to show with an indication of hands how many of you struggle to engage in conversation with your young children, with your young grandchildren, or even just with people in general. Let, let's see. No, no, nobody needs to know if you struggle or not. Just indicate with your hand, it is a struggle. It's not natural for everybody, am I right? Guys, it's early in the morning. Is it natural for us to not to be able to chat or speak or engage? Is it normal? For some people, yes. For some people, it's really a struggle. So what I'm saying is there are resources available. And I am, as the person in charge of the Kalila, saying to this congregation, we are willing to share our experiences. We are willing to share with you our resources. It's just a conversation that needs to happen, an appointment. And I would be willing to bring my team along to engage with you. So, Father, you can put that in your diary. Um, it's not just words, it's meant with lots of love and sincerity. So, what do we do every day? What do we do every Saturday? What do we do every Sunday? The television was on in the lounge yesterday, you know, the husband watching soccer. So, Manchester United game was on. I, I thought I'd bring that into a little bit of, of a laughter, right? And everybody was saying, oh my goodness, what has happened to them? And the Liverpool fans are going dead, buried, you know, all these funny things. And I want to say, sometimes within ministry, that's also what happens. We fall and we have to pick ourselves up. We go to a support group for adults living with HIV, and we might be having the wrong conversations. I want to say to you, when I started at Fikalina 20 years ago, I was a banker for 20 years. So picture this, corporate world, up in the air because that's all I knew. And here I had to come and be a community worker. When they offered me something to eat, the plate was dirty, the plate was cracked, and I looked at it and I said to myself, what did I let myself in for? I want to say to you, from knowing nothing to where I am today, I won't change it for any amount of money. Humility, love, grace, peace, joy, and so many other words to describe the transformation, and it's 20 years that nobody can ever take away from me. So I say to you today, as you sit in this pew wondering, what is it that I can do? You know what? To put us on your prayer diary, to put us in your heart, is a good starting place. I want to say to you, we deal with big challenges, financial challenges. Bishop always says, you have a diocese at your disposal. 
And I say to Bishop, but I feel so alone. I feel that Fikalela is on an island on its own. Where is this diocese that you're talking about? And so he is listening. And so here we are to rebuild, reconnect, um, strengthen the relationship. So much so that I want to say again to your reader and your parish council, when I reached out and requested assistance, at the end of March, the Department of Social Development informed Fikalela that they will be reducing our number of children from 40 to 37. It's only three children in number, but it's 110,000 rand in rand value that we will be short of. So I prayed long and hard and I said to God, how do we make up this rand value? And it's with immediate effect. We don't get advance notice. The 1st of April is when it happened. And I had this dream of adopting a child, sponsoring a child, for 870 rand a month, if we could identify 10 parishes within our diocese, then the 110,000 will be taken care of. So I've set this task for myself from Child Protection Week in May till the end of the year. Ten parishes on board and St. Saviour's has so graciously accepted and said, yes, we would love to be one of those parishes. So thank you very much for that. Do convey our gratitude. We will visit with some of the children. We will give you a story about the child that is going to be adopted by the parish. Photographs is a bit of a tricky one because we're not allowed to give their faces, show their faces but we put an emoticon and we'll actually bring the child here to be introduced to you as a congregation. So I'm very, very excited. So far, we've got on board and I'm doing it personally. I'm not sending out to the whole diocese. I'm targeting. So it's All Saints Rudebloom Road, Woodstock, where I said yes. It's St. Thomas's, St. Paul's Randebosch, my apologies. St. Saviour's Claremont. I have an organisation in Woodstock um, that has said yes. Um, I'm waiting on Kenwin, St. Philip's Kenwin to say yes. Um, and it could also be a couple of parishioners who say yes, we want to be part of the process. Um, <coughs> Kai Litcher, I'm still waiting on that parish priest. He's out in Zambia at the moment. So if you look, there's four. Four has confirmed for definite with three pending, so it's not bad going. So that's another prayer item, please. What can we do as a church? I'm gonna put some things out there that you could think about, pray about, and maybe give feedback to Father. Would you like to start a soup kitchen? Are you able to open a room or a space for us to facilitate the support group for gender-based violence victims or perpetrators? Are we able to provide a space during the week for the support group for adults living with HIV or for carers? Are you willing to embrace training with your young people, with your not so young people, parenting skills, life skills. Would you like to see this happen? The best, invest sorry, the best investment that we can give any one organization or any individual is your time. It's way better than money. I've not shared anything that's on the 20 pages that I wrote yesterday afternoon that comes from my heart and it's filled with love. I will be around if there's anything more that you want to know 
about Fikalela. When our newsletter reaches the parish, look out for it. We're busy with the toiletry drive. We've written the list of items in our newsletter. If you don't like our newsletter or you want to see improvements, share with us. Tell us about it. Um, we open. We hear to learn. And learning is ongoing. And in conclusion, the last item I wish for you to put on your playlist is the Kalela has been identified to be taking on some social responsibility um, initiatives for next year. So we won't just be doing HIV, we'll be looking at things like what's been identified within the diocese as more challenging. Um, Gender-based violence, is it drugs, is it alcohol abuse, what is it? So those kind of activities, is it going to be disaster management? We don't know. But we are allowed to share with you that that will be added to our profile. So we four people in an office. I don't know how we're going to do that, but we seek God for his wisdom, for the energy, for whatever it is that is needed. So if you pray about it with them, if all of us pray, we'll get the answers. So God bless our time together, and thank you for listening. Thank you. Oh,